Hey everyone, my name is Ben Lemper and I'm a senior in the AIM program covering domestic financials. Today, along with my mentee, Matt O'Brien, we will be pitching First Internet Bank Corp, Incorporated, ticker INBK. First Internet Bank Corp is a completely online regional bank holding company that engages in the provision of commercial and retail banking products and services. INBK has total assets of $4.2 billion under management with net loans totaling $3.3 zero billion. The bank has a range of products offerings that include residential mortgage loans, consumer loans, credit cards, and CRE loans, mainly in the Midwest. INBK was the first state-chartered, FDI-insured institution to operate entirely online. The bank was chartered in 1999 and is headquartered in Fishers, Indiana. Due to the nature of online banking, INBK can offer services nationwide with highly competitive rates and low fees in the absence of branch banks. Being online has given them an advantage during the initial shock of COVID, since no time was wasted transitioning to branchless banking. As a result, the bank suffered minimal losses in fiscal year 20. This year, they have continued to perform well. In the first three quarters of fiscal year 21, INBK has decreased total interest expense by 36.32% from the same period of last year. These significantly lower expenses explain most of the growth in net interest income for fiscal year 21. Q321, INBK produced $12.1 million in net interest income, an increase of 23% from Q320. This increase was driven largely by higher interest income, as well as a 0.9% decrease in cost of deposits because of the maturity of high-cost CDs. In the next 12 months, $787 million worth of high-cost CDs will mature, further driving down the overall cost of deposits. INBK's asset quality has also increased significantly as non-performing loans declined $1.2 million in Q3 21. SBNA loans have been another highlight in 2021 and should continue into the foreseeable future. INBK already has funded $300 million in SBNA loans in fiscal year 21, and with the introduction of a new online SBA pl platform, management expects additional revenue in fiscal year 22 of about $15 million. Due to the bank's strong performance, management has announced that they are actively looking to acquire other small digital banks to increase their product offerings and market share. At the end of Q321, management approved a $30 million stock repurchase, repurchase agreement, expecting to spend about $15 million by the end of fiscal year 22. Furthermore, while they are completely online, they still service many of the local cities around Indianapolis, which has seen an expansion of Amazon and FedEx commercial spaces. The commercial loans pipeline is up 65% since Q221, and the future props, prospects are promising. With nearly 8 million square feet of commercial space going on the market in their area, INBK is po poised to capture a significant share of this market. Due to INBK's strong financial results throughout the pandemic, their strategy to acquire more digital banks and a strong pipeline for new commercial loans, it is recommended INBK be added to the AIM small cap fund with a price target of $51.01, representing an upside of 18%. The first driver behind my investment thesis is the rising rates on the horizon. On November 3rd, the FOMC announced that they would start tapering their bond purchases due to a stronger economic recovery following the shock in the early days of the pandemic. With this announcement, it is relatively certain that a rise in interest rates will come sooner than 2023 as the Fed originally projected. A rise in interest rates will help expand INBK's profit margins as they earn more from their loan credit spread. In Q321, the cost of deposits decreased 0.9% from the quarter before, and management is certain that they will continue to decrease well into the first half of 2022. Higher interest income, paired from a rise in rates with lower cost of deposits, should contribute to a 3.6% organic growth in net interest income by the end of fiscal year 22. The second driver is the acquisition of First Century Bank Corp. On November 2nd, INBK announced that they were acquiring First Century Bank Corp out of Roswell, Georgia, for $80 million in cash, with the deal closing in Q1 of 2022. This acquisition should lead to strong synergies because of the fundamental nature of the two banks. First Century offers technology-driven financial solutions with payments, tax product lending, card programs, and HOA services, producing over 80% fee income. These services will help expand and diversify IMBK's online platform, as well as add more customers nationwide. By the end of fiscal year 22, this acquisition will contribute nearly $6 million in net interest income and $15 million in non-interest income. Management has also indicated that they will be pursuing other acquisitions due to the strength of their balance sheet.
The third driver is partnerships with fintechs. On October 13th, RNBK and Apple Pie Capital announced a loan purchase agreement to provide financing solutions for franchisees. These loans have a rate of 5% with an average term of seven years. By year end, INBK expects to fund $100 million by the end of Q4 21 and $150 million by the end of fiscal year 22. These loans target franchise owners across the nation with an average loan size of $776,000. Management has also made it clear that they are exploring partnerships with other fintechs and plan to announce more before the end of the current fiscal year. At the end of Q3, they announced a partnership with Finsley, an online payment fintech. David Becker, CEO and founder, has always recognized the importance of staying up to date with technology in the financial services industry, even mentioning the pursuit of of a partnership that would provide blockchain and cryptocurrency possibilities for INBK customers. To reach an intrinsic value for INBK, a five-year excess equity model was created. Using a terminal growth rate of 1.5% and a cost of equity of 9.93%, an intrinsic value of $53.01 was reached. A sensitivity analysis of the terminal growth rate and a cost of equity of plus or minus 100 basis point ranged from $48.81 to $58.15. Additionally, a PE multiple valuation was calculated using a weighted average fear multiple of 10.66x, resulting in a relative valuation of $46.28. Finally, a price to book Multiple valuation was calculated using a weighted average peer multiple of 1.49x, resulting in a relative valuation of $46.42. By weighing these models 75, 15, 15, a price target of $51.01 was reached, representing an 18% upside. INBK pays a dividend currently yielding 0.6%. One risk involved with the operations of First Internet Bank Corp is the regulations involved in the banking industry. First Internet Bank Corp could incur significant losses if they fail to comply with regulations. As they continue to explore more fintech capabilities and partnerships, they must be sure to stay on top of changing regulations. A second risk involved with First Internet Bank Corp is their ability to lose partnerships with fintechs. Fintech partnerships and investments are a strong driver for First Internet Bank Corp, and a loss of these relationships or failure to create new partnerships could negatively impact the future growth for the company. A third risk involved with First Internet Bank Corp is a slow economic growth. If economic recovery in the United States or Central Indiana, where First Internet Bank Corp operates, is slower than projected, it may have adverse results on the company. David Becker has served as chairman of the board since 2006 and as president and CEO since January of 2017. He is the founder of First Internet Bank Corps and has served as an officer and director since 1998. Kenneth Lovick has served as executive vice president and Chief Financial Officer since January of 2017. He was Senior Vice President of Investor Relations at First Financial Bank Corps and previously served as the President of Investment Banking at Milestone Advisors. Nicole Lork has served as Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer since January of 2017. Due to INBK's strong financial results to the pandemic, their strategy to acquire more digital banks and a strong pipeline for new commercial loans, it is recommended that INBK be added to the AIM Small Cap Fund. Thank you for listening to my recommendation. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.